Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. There was something that's happening during these days that I find a bit interesting to say the least. In the Muslim world, especially in the Middle East, but not exclusively to the Muslim Middle East, we find that many Muslim countries are normalizing their political connection and relations with the oppressive apartheid racist state of Israel. Many Muslims jump up and down in anger as it relates to that, especially the Jama'at Asiyasiyah, those political groups from the Muslims, the Ikhwan al-Muslimin, the Jama'at al-Islami, Hizbu Tahrir, and just regular Muslims. They don't like it. And I understand that comes as a direct result in most instances of the fact that Allah Azawajal has given us the breakdown of the reality of the Yahud and the Quran and the Sunnah. So I understand. But fool for thought. If the oppressive, racist, apartheid regime of Israel came to our ummah to offer us something like a gift horse, they said to us, we're going to give you Muslims this particular thing and we want you to do it. It's a, an ibadah that we know from the prophets and the messengers that were sent to us. Salawatullahi wa salamu alayhim ajma'in. If you Muslims do this thing, Allah will be pleased with you. If that were to happen, the vast majority of Muslims, based upon our fitrah, we're going to be suspicious. We're going to say, this is a gift horse. We don't believe you. We don't trust you. It was the Jewish lady who tried to poison Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And as a result of that attempt, she killed a number of uh, companions, radiallahu anhu. Allah ta'ala has defined and clearly set out for us the reality of the Yahud during the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And what will continue? The Jews and the Christians won't be happy with you until you follow their way of life, till you follow their religion. Another ayah Allah Ta'ala said in the Quran, you're going to find those people who have the most enmity, the most hatred towards those who believe, the people of Tawheed. You'll find them to be the Yahud and those who make shit, the polytheists. With a number of, you know, other ayat and hadith. So if the Yahud were to come to offer our ummah a form of ibadah to get closer to Allah with it and by it, we're going to say, nah. No, thank you. Now the question is this. What about a group of people who are called the Karamata? The Karamata. Check them out on Wikipedia. The Karamata. They were a group of people who were militant, esoteric, Bataniya Shiite. In the year 927, 930, they sacked Mecca. In the sacred and blessed month of Dhul Hijjah, when the Muslims were performing Hajj during that year, they killed over 20,000 Muslims at the Kaaba. People who were in Ihram. And after killing them, they threw their corpse into the water of Zamzam. They broke up the Kaaba and took the black stone. And they took it with them to their city. They broke the door of the Kaaba. Fitting and facade. The Qiramata. Check him out. These are the people who gave the Ummah of Al-Islam the Mawlid. The Mawlid that the Muslims religiously practice. We're still in the blessed month of Rabi al-Awwal. 
bless it just because Allah Ta'ala made this the Muslim month, Rabil Awad. It's not from the sacred months. This is the month of Rabil Awad. A few days ago, the Muslims globally celebrated the Mawlid. This Mawlid was given to us 600 years after the death of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 600 years. The companions didn't know about it. The four Imams of the Madahib didn't know about it. You will never find in any madhab, any scholar, an Imam Abu Hanifa, an Imam Malik, an Imam Ahmed, an Imam Shafi'i, Rahmatullah alayhim ajma'in. None of them. You won't find in any book, in any madhab, where those Imams said the Mawlid is haram or not haram because it wasn't even something that was present during their time. 600 years, keeping in mind that the Prophet said, Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. There is no prophet or messenger that Allah sent to his people except that it was haqqin alayhi. It was the right, it was the truth, it was obligatory upon him to guide the people to that which he knew from good and to prevent them and to warn them from those things that were evil. Order them with those things that were good and beneficial and warn them and prevent them from those things that were evil. Ummah to Islam. Food for thought. How are we reluctant and how are we upset that the hukam of the Muslims today, the rulers, they want to normalize relationships with the Yahud and we jump up and down and we're very excited and we're angry. I understand. I understand. But when it comes to the issue of the Qiramata, the enemies of Allah and His Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the Muslim Ummah, we take from this, we take from them this gift of the Mawlid. Hey Hat, hey Hat. Ya Qawmi, Kayfa Ta'kamun. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.